Hello my little starvelings and welcome back to another starve.io video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do the upgraded winter peasant's tunic as well as both dragon quests in one run. So first thing you're going to want to do obviously is get yourself a pickaxe, get yourself gold tools, backpack, book, a bottle, a watering can, some soil, and a seed. And a seed, can't forget the seed. So um, what we're doing here at the beginning of the run is trying to get those gold tools as quickly as possible, preferably within four minutes. Your best option is to spawn right at dawn. Spawn right at the beginning of the day because that gives you the maximum amount of time to farm resources with that rubbish stone tool because it's pretty slow. So um, as you can see here, once your water bar reaches about half, go through a lake. Um, one of the things to maximize your time spent and get the most resources is to stay moving as much as possible, even during the night. Without those upgraded chapters, I know it's difficult, but if you've got enough resources and you can build your fires, you can get out there and you can get things done during the night, which is paramount to these quests. If you can't move around during the night, you're going to have to learn how to. So you can watch this video as many times as you want. Just watch it and copy what I do. Um, it doesn't really matter where you spawn in the map. As long as you keep moving, there's always going to be plenty of resources around for you to use. Now, as you can see, I use berries for most of the beginning of this because it's easier to collect them. You don't have to spend as much time fighting. and they keep you full enough. I mean, 20 berries or so on your inventory and you've got, you've got plenty of time to do all of this, just on 20. So I don't think I ever go up to that many. I think the most I get is about 15 or 17 by the time I've, I've used them. It might even be less than that. So here you can see I'm upgrading the gold tools. It's the first night. Um, we're, only, we're only five minutes into it so far and I've got both gold pickaxe and gold sword. Now I'm ready to start hunting the wolves, the rabbits and the spiders. The reason I say go for gold is because with the stone tools you'll find that it takes too long to kill the spiders, the wolves. It takes four hits on the rabbits. With the gold it only takes three and chasing those rabbits around the map can, can waste too much time. So actually having the gold tools is much better. So I go for gold first before I get the backpack, before I get the book, before I get the um, farmer's tunic, the, the first grade. And as you can see here, I'm making the fireplaces and placing them around at night while still mining resources, trying to collect rabbits, get a bit of meat, uh, get this wolf here. And that's basically it, guys. I mean, once you've built your gold pickaxe and your gold sword, you only need 20 pieces on you for the shovel, so you don't need to go collecting any more of that. And getting water is, is pretty easy. Uh, you don't need it until, until a bit later, as you'll see. So I'm going for that rabbit there, and it's night time, and I've got the fire on me ready. I've got the wolf here I'm gonna get. And you'll see as I place down the, the fireplace here to collect the wolf, I get the meat and I throw that away so that I've got some space for the string because I've still got berries so I don't need the meat on me it's just a waste of inventory space while I'm trying to acquire that backpack and I think it's it's one more rabbit now one more spider and one more rabbit and that gives me what I need for the first tunic and then that allows me to move around at night a lot more a lot easier Um, it's very helpful if you can memorize the location of some of the workbenches that are in the map. It saves you having to build them, it saves your resources. And there we are. Playing through the second day, I've got my gold tools, I've got my rabbit thing now. Uh, just about got enough resources to build the backpack as well. I think now he, he finds, I'm going, I'm looking for that, I'm 
trying to remember where I saw that workbench. So I'm looking for it, I'm looking for it. I think, right, it was up near that lake, wasn't it? Where was it? Ah, there it is. So I find it and then boom, got the backpack. And you see, I can just grab the water by walking through the lake here. You, you don't need to go to the ocean each time. You don't need to build a bottle straight away. And I think now that I've got the backpack, now it's time to build a couple of bottles and to get the book. And then once I've got that, it's simply a case of grabbing the required resources to build a small farm in the winter. Try and be careful not to hit those boxes, because if you accidentally pop one, that's all of your quests gone, except the two, except the peaceful and the crown. But uh, we're not going for those today, we're going for the farmers and we're going for the dragons, so we don't want to pop boxes. I do believe is, that's all the wolves, isn't it? Yeah, that's four wolves, four strings, and I'm ready now to build the book, build the shovel, get the bottles, and get ready to head up to the winter. So as you can see here, you've got the you've got the three bars at the bottom. You can afford to let them almost completely empty before you start thinking about replenishing one of them or the other. The fire one, the, the heat, the uh, the light blue bar in the middle is not so... It's a little more temperamental. If it gets to zero and then you're building your fire, you can be in a bit of trouble. But um, as long as you catch it just before at the night, you're actually fine. You can get that fire built and get it down, you won't lose any health. So here I go for four bottles. I go for 100 sand, four bottles. Um, that is always enough for me. I find that that's always plenty to go up to the winter with because sometimes you can sometimes you can fill your inventory and you can lose one when you drink. So having those extras, just a couple of extras there is, is always is always helpful. You see I'm off the berries now so I start cooking some of the meats. Now that I've finished the berries off, I don't think I'm gonna collect many more. If I do it's just to eat them right there and then. I think I kill that one more wolf. Yeah, one more wolf. One more piece of meat. I'll throw the pelt away because I don't need it anymore. It's a waste of space. And now it's time to start shoveling the dirt. We get 120 dirt, and that would be four crop plots because they're 30 pieces each. And you need to get at least one windmill. One windmill is enough. However, if you can get two spiders on your way up, two windmills is faster. It's a lot more helpful. You can produce bread twice as quick. So we're going to get the 120 soil and then we'll stop shoveling. Don't need that anymore. Grab a few more stones and woods on the way up. There's our seed, our first seed. Now we need a watering can. Don't forget the watering can. I forgot it the first time I tried to make this video. So I had to make the video again. Because <laughs> I forgot it. Actually went into the winter without it. Now this was unfortunate. The spider webbed me and hit me. Had that spider not hit me, I would also have completed the take no damage quest. But uh, taking that one hit failed the quest for me. So that was unfortunate. It was a bit of bad luck. So here, we've got everything we need. The watering can, seeds, a few string, 120 dirt, some food and water, our shovel to replenish the water, book, the farmer's gear, gold tools, and some stone and wood to build the windmills. I like this spot. I like this spot in the winter for, for the farming because with a, with a triple fire right in where that single fire is, when you put triple fire there, you can access everything. You can get your windmills, you can get the trees, you can get the workbench and you can sit on your crop pots and farm them. Actually, while I was playing this, I was telling my mates, just go away, I don't need your help, you're going to get in my way. <laughs> just go away and do your own thing, go and enjoy the game. I'm alright here. But, um, actually, got quite fortunate and uh, they, they had already done something with the cave by the time I got up there, so I didn't really need to do much once I got in there, just grab a piece of ammo and kill a dragon. But uh, we'll, we'll talk about that when I get there, because it's actually easy. 
um, what they did for me, yeah, I, I didn't need it. You don't need it. And I'll, I'll just talk you through how easy it is. So this is me getting rid of a bear. If you don't know how to fight bears, I've got a couple of videos on it. It's just a simple case of, of picking your time when you hit them, instead of holding the button down like you would in the forest. Just um, take your time with it. Hit it every few seconds instead of every second. So I use the shovel to do the farming, mainly because it actually collects the ice from the floor while you're doing it. And that is what you use to fill your bottles. So you're kind of killing two birds with one stone.
Winter Peasant's Tunic. Quest completed. 100 bread collected in the winter within five days. And we've still got one day left, roughly one day left, about eight and a half minutes to collect that one piece of amethyst and a little bit longer to kill a dragon. So we're going to go straight to the cave from here and we're going to go and do that. Now, as I was saying earlier, I got quite lucky and my friends had already gone in the cave and there was no blockage. In most circumstances, by the time you get there, there's going to be a wall on the door. So you might want to take a hammer with you just to smash that down. But um, if that's not the case, then you can quite simply just walk in, dodge the dragons, get your one piece of amethyst and get back out again. Uh, you're going to need 50 pieces of gold. Take 50 bits of gold up with you because you need that to build a diamond pickaxe. You need a diamond pickaxe to be able to mine the amethyst. Uh, not obvious to everybody, but it actually is necessary. You can't mine it with anything less. Like the gold pickaxe won't work, so... Here I'll grab my 20 I think it's 20 pieces of diamond to build it. 20 diamonds, 60 stone, 50 gold. I'm pretty sure that's the combination. Might be 80 stone. Regardless, take plenty of stone and wood with you, get your 50 gold. Once you get there, get your diamonds and then build your pickaxe, like so. And then just head straight into the cave. Now, dodging dragons is easy. Believe it or not, it is easy. You don't need to go crazy and run rounds in circles. They'll follow you. They'll be pretty close, but you can outrun them as long as you don't pull your weapon out. If you pull your weapon out, it doesn't matter what you're wearing, you are dead. Dragons are absolutely ridiculously powerful. They've got a lot of health and they do a lot of damage. Even with the full dragon helmet on, you won't survive if it attacks you and you've got your sword out. You just won't. Same with the Kraken. You can't, you can't beat these things. These are beasts. Now, as I said before, I got lucky and they had done this. They did it for me. They said, oh, we've trapped a dragon for you. It's going to be easy. Actually, it made it more difficult because I had to try and get through stone walls. The easiest way to kill a dragon is to kite one back to the entrance and to just up and down, up and down with your sword. They'll, they can't come out of the cave. So you put a fire down at the entrance and just do exactly that. I find it annoying to have to try and hit them through walls because, as you saw there, if that thing was on full health and I wasn't using a gold sword, I could potentially have destroyed that wall before before I got the dragon. So, actually that would have been dangerous then because I would have had to have run away with my sword out for a second before I put it away. And that's just no good. So, here you can see we've got a couple of these things, a couple of... Uh, orbs, a couple of squares, and I'm just depositing mine for the guys to build their gears later. And um, I think I say here, and that's how it's done. That's how it's done, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Good luck in doing these quests for yourselves in the future. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in a bit.